welcome back to my channel I'm so glad that you've tuned in today well today I'm going to be telling you on how to care for your lounge fly bags purely because most of the time we buy these lounge fly bags from people what maybe don't really look after them very well or they're not a collector so they just not really bothered and they shove them at the back of the cupboard and then they get really creased and then when you come to buy them you are having to try and get them back into shape and yes so let's get started purple potion and it came flat as you can see and it's very yes it's just flat it came in a bag and now I need to try and puff it back out so I can kind of help it out give it some love so let's do that the first thing I'm going to be using is is just some paper this one is actually from a shop Disney box what came with it and you can also get stuff like this you can buy this from your supermarket from your post office or if you're just waiting for a parcel to come nine times out of ten they'll have something like this inside the box so you can just grab it out and then you could use this I've also used bags before the bags for life so you could easily use bags of life um, you could use you could use bubble wrap or anything really where it's a filling kind of material so I'm just going to be using this one today just to demonstrate on how I get the shape back in my bag so I'll be probably using around about three or four of these what I've got here I've got two or three of them so it should be okay so I'm going to really really ram it in the bag so every single corner you can find make sure it gets right into them corners so it gives it its shape back so what we've got here a little bit more shove it in as much as you can and then I've got another one here okay so as you can see I've brimmed the top of the bag and I'm just trying to get it into some kind of shape as you can see and and then I'm going to be using just one of these this is just a little pocket of light it freshens you up it pre prevents any damp or anything you can buy these from Amazon you can buy them off eBay you can get them from Poundland I think so super super cheap and just popping them inside your bag will just keep it fresh and it won't feel it won't smell damp or anything if you've got it in one place for a long period of time and yes I just think they're really really good for the backpack especially if you are trying to get its shape back and yes so as you can see on the side you've still got some creases and stuff like that but I'm not too bothered about that at the moment just purely because it is still trying to gain its shape back I don't know how long it's been in that kind of shape so it will take a while to become to what it was so as you can see the front pocket is still really squidgy that is a little bit out of shape and it just needs a little bit of stuffing in that I've actually got some foam here I cut this out of because I had a couple of plates delivered and all I did was cut it to the shape of the pocket and that will go perfect just to go inside to give it shape but you haven't got to use this you could use some cardboard you could use yet again a bag for life you could use bubble wrap so so many options it's just something to stuff it with so it would just get that shape back on what you want in so let's put this in and I'll show you okay guys as you can see I've put the foam inside and I'm just gonna close it up so that hopefully will get its shape back at the top here because it's slightly curved. I don't know if the camera's bringing it up. And then on the bottom there's a slight dint, but I think that's quite snug in there. So it should get its shape back pretty quick. But that's the basic idea of what I do to fill it, get its shape back. But most problems, and I've seen it so many times, is the ears coming forward so as you can see these are slightly coming forward and I'm gonna want them pinning back like that 
This one didn't actually come with any foam to go over the top because most lounge flies, if they are brand new, they'll come with the foam at the top. So I need to try and find something what will pin those ears back so it will gain its shape gradually. So the best thing obviously if you have got some foam then put the foam around the ears and then it will gradually get its its shape back but if they are quite bad and they're really coming forward sometimes that won't even do anything. So I've come up with a design, what, well it's not really a design but it's just something I use to get the ears back into shape. So let me show you how I do this. So I've just got some rubber bands here, I call them laggy bands but whatever you want to call them. You can get these sometimes if you've got a bunch of parcels and you get them in your mail or you can buy them from Pan World or supermarkets or anything, it's super super cheap and all I do is literally put one on one ear. Ooh one on the other ear and get your laggy band put it over there so as you can see i put the laggy band over there and over there and then at the back i've crisscrossed it at the back that's pinning my ears back all i do is leave it on for i think it's a day or maybe two days and then when you take that laggy band off your ears off straight i'm not saying it will work for everybody but this is just a technique i've done and it's worked so i'm not sure if it would work for everybody but i don't want to kind of put this out there you do it and then it doesn't work because it may not work for you guys but this is just what's worked for me personally and just having a couple of laggy bands putting it round your hook for a couple of days and then taking it off so i just thought i would show you what i do and it may help you so yes just a couple of laggy bands and just leave it there for a couple of days and if they don't stay back they actually just spring forward so guys so i've put my stuffing in i've done my front pocket and I've done the actual ears that would like I say for one or maybe two days and that should work a treat but now I want to talk about is if you haven't got a sequin backpack but you've actually got a leather one and it's quite silky so I just want to give you some tips on what I do personally just to get the shine back and make it look more new so guys I've just got the pumpkin one here and as you can see it's got this shiny kind of material effect but a lot of the time they can look quite dull and they just don't look as fresh than what they were when they were brand new and this is just something I've done I'm not saying to you that you have to try it or if it will help yours but I'm just giving you tips on what I've done personally and what's helped it but in no means am I saying that this will work for you it's just something what I've done and it it worked for me so guys to get the shape back I use baby lotion the most minute a bit of baby lotion all I do is put a little bit of baby lotion on a cotton board and I literally just shine over it to get it shine back I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's got that slight shimmer of what it didn't have when I got it and it just looks a lot more fresher it looks a lot more it it don't look as old as what it did when I first got it and I was surprised really because it came tagged and these straps were still up but this one just didn't have its shine or anything so I put the most minute of baby lotion on it all the way around it and then it just got its shine back but in no means am I saying that go and do it if you don't feel comfy that it, it would work or you may feel it may ruin your bag or anything i'm just telling you some tips on what i did and what I, what helped me so guys we've reshaped a bag we've we've tried to help those ears to be pulled back so we can get the shape back on then i've gave you a little tip on how to get your shine back on your leather bags 
now I'm going to be telling you on how on how I strap them up so they're not dangling and if they're hanging them on the wall they're not flapping everywhere so I'm just going to give you a little tip on what I do to prevent that okay guys as you can see with this backpack it came with the strap down so they're flopping around as you can see at the bottom and when I actually want to put this on my wall then they're going to be dangling down and they're not going to be up so all I do is fold the handle and put it down there and then I've got just a piece of paper it hasn't been cardboard or anything it really doesn't have to be and I've just got some little bit of tape as you can see this is just washi tape but you could use any kind of tape really this is just to give you an example of what I do so all I do is I get it and I wrap it around I don't know if I can do it with showing you as well all I do is wrap it around the actual angle what is folded and then I put the washi tape all the way around it just to secure it and then as you can see that is folded it's quite wide the reason I have it quite wide is because I found in the past if the if you do have them short they start to rip and have indentations onto the actual backpack which we don't want that especially if it was a, a rare backpack or an expensive backpack we don't want that to happen so I just thought a really really large one with some washi tape it protect your strap and it's really simple to do and you haven't got to go and buy anything expensive or any kind of hooks or anything it's just something really cost effective and it will stay there as long as you need it and the next thing is is when we put it on our walls is protecting our walls but also protecting our bags the reason I say this is because I have put a bag on the wall before and it's been there for a long period of time and the bag is actually stuck to the wall to the point where you have to kind of unstick it off the wall I don't know what happens I think it's something to do with the shiny texture or something but the bag seems to just get stuck to my walls so I have to peel it off so the best solution I have for this and it's probably not not the most prettiest of solutions because I don't like to put cardboard or anything to spoil the look but all I've got is some cardboard here this is actually from shop Disney one as you can see it's got the characters from Toy Story but it's just some cardboard and if you put that just inside of your let me just put that over there hasn't got to be this big at all obviously but just cut it down to the size of the bag it will keep the shape of the bag but it will also just protect your wall and protect the bag because I've had it where it stuck to the wall that much when I peeled it off it took a little bit of paint off my wall and it stuck onto the bag luckily I got it off the bag but my wall was still damaged and I just thought I don't want that to happen so every time I put a bag onto my wall now I just put a little bit of cardboard I got to be a lot at all but just maybe, maybe the half the size of this just to put it inside of your bag like that it will keep obviously the shape of your bag which is fantastic but it will just protect that wall and protect your bag at the same time and the last thing I'm wanting to show you on how to protect our bags look after our bags and stuff like that how to prevent any kind of long lasting stains on the bag pure example because if it's on the wall for a long period of time you've got that possibility that you're going to have dust lie on top of your bag I've had it before and I've had it on one of my white ones where it literally I had a layer of dust and all I did was wipe it and it stained the bag I don't know why it must have got ingrained in it or something like that it is only fabric so now I dust them on a regular basis I just use a feather duster nothing uh, no cloth or anything because that sometimes can stain it just get a feather duster and just literally brush over the top of the bag because as we all know if we've got something in one place for a long period of time especially on our walls the top of it is going to get dusty and here I found there gets really dusty as well so just give it a quick dust down with a feather duster and that will prevent any kind of long lasting stains or thick layers of dust or anything especially on these sequin bags because if you get 
dust inside these little like sequins you're gonna get yourself in a massive problem of trying to get it out of there so always consider if you are putting it on your wall that dust regular so you don't get any kind of long lasting stains or anything like that the next thing i'm wanting to say is don't leave your lounge fly backpacks in direct sun the reason i say this is because a lot of people know this already if you put something in direct sun for an example you put it on your windsail windowsill or you've got a wall what constantly gets sun your bags may get discolored the color may dull and your bag may not be as what you want it anymore so make sure when you are choosing a location to hang your bags on the wall or dis display them in some sense that they're not in direct sunlight i've had it many many time where i've put not just bags but certain other items on my windowsills and near direct sunlight and they have literally damage the whole style of that color and we just don't want that so that's something to just keep in mind if you have got a lounge fly bag and you are wanting to, to display it in a certain area just look where the light goes and making sure it's in a safe area so they don't get damaged so guys the last thing i'm wanting to show you is a little trick i do is when i'm actually sticking it on the wall so everyone does it by the hook there which is fine but but sometimes if you're using a nail like this you can put your nail inside and then it will leave an indentation of the nail which we don't want that because it yet again if it's a really expensive backpack and you just don't want it to be damaged then definitely you do not want that mark of having a nail i do know a lot of people use these stick on hooks and stuff like that but personally i don't like using them because when you take the hook off the wall it takes the paint off with it so i just use like a little tack and I just put it underneath but I always worry about it like damaging inside of my hook so I'm just going to give you a little thing I do when I'm hooking on the wall just to prevent that from happening so guys all I've got is a plaster I know you're going to think I'm absolutely crazy but it, it works trust me all you do is peel it off fold your corners so only the outer bit is showing like that i don't know if you can see that and then all you do is put the plaster so it's not actually sticking to the it's not actually sticking to the bag because you've covered both sides but just put it underneath there you can trim off the edges if you want as well that's fine but by just having that there and then hook it over the nail won't indentate on your bag it will indentate on the plaster spongy bit it won't actually go onto your bag which is really really good for a simple thing like that the last thing we want is to get that indentation and then it wears and then you end up with a hole and then in the end you won't be able to sell it or anything because it's got damage so there's all these things you have to consider when you are putting it on the wall that you just got to protect it a bit more look after it a bit more so just having that little bit of plaster underneath your hook just so it kind of the nail doesn't touch your hook itself just really really will protect it and you'll won't come into any problems in the long run so guys they are just my few tips on what i've done personally what's helped me personally to keep my bags as protected as i like as good condition as i want and in general just to look after them a bit more so i've stuffed it out and my ears will should be done in a day or so and then it will be good to be put on my wall and protect it in that sense as well so guys i hope you enjoyed it just giving you a little bit of tips on what i do just to protect my bag just that little bit more i hope it's helped you out and gave you a little a little bit of tip and just help you out 
So guys, that's everything I've got for you today. Remember, if you haven't already, to subscribe and click on that little bell icon and you'll be notified every single time I upload new content. And remember, I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. So please come and join me on there. I love to hear from you guys and your advice yourself. Have you got any tips on how to look after your bags? Is there anything I'm missing? I'd love, love to hear from you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you.